Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Sundays. We're back on Sundays. You cannot have chips for breakfast. Look at, look at this kid. Show me that he wants chips. You can't have chips. Mom's gonna make you some pancakes. Mom, let's make your breakfast first before I talk to them. Cause clearly you starving. Say hi. That was aggressive. Okay, let me go feed him real quick. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. It's a Monday. I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday morning. Why the kids don't go back to school till Wednesday? I have no idea. I think that's the dumbest crap ever. And y'all know, Harper's been home. Harper's been home for all of winter break and the whole week before winter break because when she had COVID. So I'm ready for life to go back to normal. Um, I just, I, I like my routines and this type of stuff messes up my routines. I'm just ready to start waking up early because now me and Ezra have been sleeping in. Like, I'm just ready to get back on it. Um, but yeah, today is Monday. It's J January 2nd. I was about to say July. <laughs> it's January 2nd, 2023. So yeah, first thing on my agenda tomorrow, I'm about to fill in my calendar for the fridge. Because you guys remember, I bought it last month. I did buy Yeah, I bought it in December. And it actually, like, really came in handy because... I would just like go glance at the fridge like I would just write down like if she didn't have school, if she had early dismissal, if appointments were scheduled, um, stuff like that. I also need to schedule Enzo a doctor appointment. Let me put that in my notes. So, to do today, um, schedule Enzo a doctor's appointment. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling so, like so far, I'm feeling really good about the year. The reason I'm feeling good about the year is just because I told you guys, I made a vision board manifestation board more so like a vision board um and usually i just like write down things that i want to accomplish like with no visual aspect of it but this year i made the board and i made it like my screensaver on the computer i'm not going to show you guys just because obviously it's something that's personal to each person um and i don't need nobody to put no bad vibes out there for what i'm trying to accomplish you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so i'm not going to show you guys but it came out so pretty you guys know i just I take things too far. I really, really do. But I made that. I put it on my screensaver. And then last night when I was like looking at it, I was like, well, what can I make uh, my short-term goals be for like the next couple months that could lead me there at some point in the year? You know what I'm saying? Like take it step by step, start little by little. So I wrote that stuff down in my notepad. So I'm gonna try to like get a start on that today. Also, you guys know my mom's wedding is coming up and I wanna shed a couple pounds. I weighed myself the other day. And not that the number on the scale really means anything, but I weighed myself. I should have never did that. Um, I weigh 163 pounds. I'm 5'4". I do not even want to know what my BMI is at this point. I've never been 163 unless I was pregnant. And your girl ain't pregnant. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> Hold on now. Like, it's giving very much grown woman body loading, but in the wrong places. So today I'm starting my diet and I'm going to start working out again. You guys know, I bought myself the Peloton Tread as like my postpartum gift because I thought I was going to be getting in shape. Um, I've used that thing probably like five times. I'm trying to tell myself if I don't use it by like March, I'm just going to sell it. Not that I know anybody that would want to buy a Tread, but that's what I'm telling myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start working out and dieting today. So that should be fun. So if I'm hangry for the next couple of days, it's because I'm hungry. But I'm going to do keto again just because I didn't mind keto. Um, it was... <sighs> A little complicated because I always had to make like me a meal and then like the kids a meal. Um, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to it. I want to shed a lot of pounds. I'm not even going to say a number, but I'm going to shed these pounds. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all this really on my schedule today. But I'm so excited to be back to like regular filming because I don't know. I just, I missed you guys. And I felt like... When you're in the routine of doing something that you know you're supposed to doing and you don't do it, you one, you just feel like, okay, something is missing, but then two, you just feel like a failure. And even though like I'm allowed to take time off, like it's a job, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I know I'm supposed to be filming. I know I'm supposed to be editing, especially during Vlogmas, because like since I made it kind of far in Vlogmas this year, I was like, girl, you're supposed to be uploading daily, but I just couldn't do it. Your girl had the vid. I just couldn't do it, okay? Um, so... Yeah, but I'm really excited about this year. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I haven't felt this way in a really long time. And it's so weird, like TMI. But when I was laying in bed that night, um, I just was like sitting there. 
and I just was like alongside of my manifestation board my vision board I also did like a written version of it as well but I also sat there and verbally said everything into the air um, and when I was verbally saying everything that I wanted to like accomplish this year and like my, my long-term goals my short-term goals I started crying like I was really crying and I felt like because of that like I really just let go of everything that the last year kind of like had on my shoulders you know what i'm saying like i like dropped that dead weight and was like okay cool like we're going into this like it's not about what i didn't accomplish what i didn't do last year like let's focus on what i need to do right now in this exact moment to get to where i want to be the same time this year you know what i'm saying so that's why i really feel good about like i have a game plan and yeah but i'm just writing in the dates and stuff um which is what i start with and then i'm gonna go through my phone and pretty much write anything that needs to go in even though i don't really think i have anything going on for the month of january um because like when it be months like this i think it's slow okay after all this stuff goes on i'd be like i got to take it slow babe <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do that um and then i'll come back on here in a second ends is eating breakfast and harp is on the couch i don't know if you guys can see them but ends is right there and harp is right there behind the pillows um ow, and i'm trying to figure out where i want to take harp tomorrow before she gets back to school just do something with her um yeah you was hungry huh guy when i tell you he'd be ready to eat like i'm the type of person i can eat breakfast but it doesn't have to be as soon as i wake up oh and he needs a cup of juice and a and breakfast as soon as he opens his eyes like change his diaper and feed him all in one go like he'd be ready let's can see my energy is kind of high today just because i'm just excited about life i really am i'm not gonna lie to you guys um i just feel like i feel like i just not that I could have did better because I did my best. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say I could have did better because I did do my best last year. But I felt like I wasn't pushing myself. Like, I feel like I was very much in a comfort zone. Um, and I don't like being in a comfort zone. And I feel like in order to attain my goals and achieve the things I want to achieve this year, that I have to push myself outside of my comfort zone. Um, so I hope you guys are excited because I just really feel like I'm going to have to really figure out, like, just how to be more consistent on youtube on instagram like i really want to go back to posting on the gram um i just want to live life a little bit more um there's a lot of things honestly yeah let me go get my life together and i'll come back on here i really want to go through my closet and like purge it but i don't at the same time oh i also need to find some shoes to work my mom's wedding okay all right let me go so i'm sitting here watching i'm sitting here watching kaleidoscope I'm sitting here watching Kaleidoscope. What episode did it make you guys start out on? It made me start out on episode three. <laughs> He's so mean. And now on my third episode. Snake putting this. Quickly, I'm back. The camera about to die. I'm gonna need some eggs so I can have those for breakfast, lunch, and I'm gonna put him down for a nap because he's doing too much. But I just got Amazon stuff in the mail. First of all, order some hangers because you guys know I never, I never have hangers. I have bought so many 50 packs of hangers while doing YouTube, and somehow, somehow, I still never have hangers. Like, I don't get it. What? So. First thing that I got was I got a Harper uh, LED set for her TV. She has one on there, but it's, I don't know what you want. But you're bugging. Um, she has one on her TV right now, but it's like uh, when it plugs into the wall. Here, you want a cookie? Come get a cookie because my friend, my friend, my friend, you gotta chill, my friend. Oh, why is this sticky? You don't know if you want to eat it, you mad, but you want to eat it, huh? Um, there's a dog. But, so, she has a set, it was all stuff. She has a set of LED lights on her TV, but they, like, plug into the wall. Y'all are, like, killing me. Y'all know I'm really sensitive. You yelling, he barking. Oh, my God. But we're in the kids' room, obviously. And that's because... Inside voices. As a, I don't know where you keep getting pencils from to draw on the walls, but me and you going to fight. But we're in here because I got a few things from Amazon. So I'm going to show you what I got and then I'm going to do this project really quick. 
before I put him down for a nap. He's playing the cross with a broom, but whatever. So I got her a new pair of LED lights for her TV. She had, these look like somebody used them and returned them because one, the box is sticky and somebody closed it with regular tape. Amazon, I'm gonna need y'all to like just void returns, you know? Like don't send them to somebody else because what could you possibly, why was the packaging, what sense? Then I also picked up these. These are finger pools for the dresser so I could spice up the mom. So they look like this. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on the dresser. Um, basically, ignore the mess, you guys know. They're gonna go like right here, just to make it look more, expensive um so i'm gonna put all of these on here so i have to like measure out what's the middle where the hole is gonna go i'm gonna put some paint i don't know i'm gonna put some painters tape on there i gotta make them even on each door see i had the camera situated now y'all are crooked but whatever so these came in like this was a lot and it was only like 12 dollars or something like that i want to say how many are in here it's 10 in here and i only need six so yeah i don't know where else i would put any me staring around like where are you gonna put the extra ones so while enzo was napping i um did my little projects so that is the after oh my god let me turn the camera and this is the after so the bottom one is crooked oh I'll, I'll fix it eventually but that one's definitely crooked but the rest of them aren't um yeah it's whatever i put the new led lights up behind the tv so those ones are from Goli. We opted for the blue for right now. And I just cleaned the dresser off. And then the old LED lights that were on the TV, I just put behind her headboard. I didn't want to trash them because they're basically brand new. So I just put them behind the headboard for now just so that like when she's in here in the dark, she can just turn those on like they're not too dark um, because they're not too bright like a lamp or anything like that. So yeah, I just put those behind the headboard. And then hold on. Turn the light on, please. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. Thank you so much. Um, and then for the remote, because remember I told you guys that these ones were remote operated. I command strip Velcro the remote right there. So you are so aggy, bro. So that when she needs to use the remote, she can just take it off. He doesn't want to be on camera. Um, but then that way it has a place for it to go. Good job, yay. Yay, smart guy. All right, son, would you like to get your day started? What would you like for breakfast? Okay. Yeah. You're not hung up on you. There are fruit containers, huh? Mm. Tough job to do tonight. I look crazy. I 
look crazy. I look so crazy right now. I look so crazy right now. Hey guys, it's much later in the day. I don't know why I was about to do this like I was saying, but it's much later in the day. I didn't end up doing anything today. Um, my aunt came over with my little cousin so that the girls could hang out. Um, and me and my aunt just sat and chatted for a while. I do have a packet I want to open with you guys. And I want to show you guys something that I made on Canva. And I'm going to like figure out a way. Maybe I'll put like the link in the description box. That way if you guys want to use it as well, you guys could download it or something. Um, let me grab both of those. And let me grab a box cutter. By the way, my sweatshirt is from Pangaea. I had the whole set of this, like with shorts, never wore. Never wore. Like, I really want to go through my closet this week and like just take out everything that has tags on it so that I could really see how much I don't wear my clothes. And I saw this thing like on TikTok where basically says that like when you wear something in your closet, put it back in your closet, but turn the hook the opposite way so that you can see how much of your stuff you actually don't wear. And I want to do that, but I'm not going to lie, y'all. I hate when hangers are not facing the same way. So I need to figure out a way that I could do that, that I could, like, basically visually see what I'm wearing and what I'm not wearing. Um, so, like, maybe I'll buy, like, ribbons or something and put them on, like, the hangers. Like, once I wear something, I'll put a piece of ribbon around it. I don't know. But to turn in the, the hooks the opposite way, that is the, that's not going to, that's going to like eat at my soul. All right, let's open the package first. So I ordered some stuff from Hey Day. The first thing I got was these dissolving micro needle eye patches. I was very intrigued by these. No pain, all gain. The micro needle, I was like, ooh, what's that? It has hyaluronic acid and peptides. Trying to live my best life, tired eyes tell a different story. So where to bed, wake up glowing. Where to bed? I, I was intrigued. It's one pair of eye patches in these. I was very intrigued by these. I'll let you guys know how those work out for me. I, oh, shit. Not, I dropped them on my roses and now the roses smushed. Might be time for these roses to just go in the trash. Um, I picked up the acid potion from Moon Juice because it had like really good reviews. This is a liquid exfoliator. I love liquid exfoliators, which is why oh, the battery's dying. Are you freaking kidding me? Please hold. And then I also got the milk juice, the milk juice, moon juice milk cleanse, gentle bubbles. Um, I got this because I wanted to try a new cleanser. You guys know I still use that blue La Roche one, like the normal skin one. I really, really like that one. I like how it lathers up, which is why I kind of just stick to it. Um, but I wanted to try something new, but like when it comes to cleansers, the real shit is for me. I not me being brand loyal. Everything is from Moon Juice and Grown Alchemist. I love Grown Alchemist. I always see people talk about that soap brand, uh, A E S O P. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. And I I've, I've used it before, like in hotels and stuff. And I was not crazy about it. I definitely prefer Grown Alchemist over it. And this the set of Grown Alchemist does it for me. Um, I never see anybody talk about it. So like, if you like like that brown bottle, but like a good lotion and soap and stuff, they even have shampoo conditioner. Grown Alchemist is bomb. So I picked up the um, it's upside down the polishing facial exfoliant. And then the last thing I got was Grown Alchemist anti pollution primer, which I was super intrigued by them having like a facial primer. And I was like, ooh, I want to try that. And the packaging for Grown Alchemist is so cute. So as you guys saw, like the other one was blue, and this one's like a pale pink. Um, it says that it's a lightweight detoxifying primer formulated with an anti-pollution shield complex of pepper. So it's going instantly put wrinkles and pores and high nose. So yeah, I'm gonna try this because I don't really use primers. Like all my primers that I use are like um, hydrating ones. Put it on the side of the screen right here for you guys. I'm gonna move the camera so that way. When I put it, when Editing Asia puts it right here, it's going to be right here. Um, so basically what I made on Canva was like a monthly reflections. It's, and why I made this was because, I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys watched last week's vlog. I basically touched on how like when the new year came, when it was New Year's Day, New Year's Eve. Um, I started like thinking like what did I accomplish this year? What did I spend my money on? Like I was really confused um just reflecting over my year like i just felt like the year was a blur to me i made this thing on canva and it's called my monthly reflections and basically i just want to fill it out every single month like the last day of the month um 
and you could do them like on your iPad, on your phone, on your computer, like whatever suits you. I'm thinking about getting an iPad. I don't know. Do I need an iPad? I don't know. I've had iPads in the past. I don't really use them, but I think for this type of stuff, they're nice. So I think I might buy myself one. Um, and it's, it's honestly the last thing to complete my little Apple lineup, you know, but it's whatever. Say good morning to Asia's kids. Um, when is the February 7? Next month. March. January, February, March, March April. April. I am a sleepy mommy today. Mommy, mm. Maybe mm. braid the ponytail or leave it out. Braid it. Leave it out. I want my hair out, but it's going to turn out bad. Tomorrow I'll put it in a half of hair. Good morning. See you. That was gone. Got crazy here, Penny. I used to do when I brush my hair with the hard brush. Like, I see circles in my hair, and they were gold. Good morning. Good morning, my babies. Oh, get it, Zoe, get it, 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 that jacket is cute. I want it for myself. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Oh my god. I'm always so excited when I first come on the vlog camera. First of all, I still got like juice or something all over the front of my camera because it's sticky. I need a big boy. Um, it's Wednesday morning. I'm about to make me an ass some breakfast because I'm starving. Let me open this cabinet second. What? What did you say? I can't wait for trash day. I hate seeing trash. Um, I'm making me. Oh, why would they put a rubber band around the eggs? I'm making me an instant breakfast because I'm starving. I haven't been able to sleep lately, and it's so funny because me and Harp could never sleep on the same days. Like that's my girl right there. If I wake up and I'd be like, I ain't sleep good. I literally be like, How did you sleep? She's like, I slept terrible. Like we both be having trouble falling asleep. She was up most of the night. I was up till five in the morning, y'all. Like couldn't sleep. Finally fell asleep at like five something. Enzo woke up at six. I went to go get him out the crib. I put him in the bed with me. Went to sleep, was knocked out, had to get up an hour later. Like, okay, breakfast has been served. I think Enzo's having one of those days where he's trying to test my gangster. But it's okay. It's cool. I ain't gonna trip about it. What? Why would you? Prime example of testing my G. <laughs> it's a new day. Is my day going better than yesterday so far? Mm, debatable. As you can see, per the way I look, um, it's giving very much 50-50 right now. I just took ends outside to try to burn some energy off. That We lasted like 30 minutes. He had to come back in the house. <laughs> he lost his privileges super, super quick. But we're back in the house. I'm making him some lunch right now. Um, and then when I take Hart, I mean, and then when we go get Hart from school, I'm gonna let him play in the park. Cause my guy just I don't know if he's tired of being in the house, but like there's nowhere to go. Um, but yeah. I did get some sleep last night, so that's good. I went to sleep at like I think twelve o'clock. So I did get more sleep yesterday than I did any other day. Um, but he is being just a little bossy today. I was sitting here thinking, I was like, if this is a glimpse what the terrible twos are gonna be like, Lord Jesus bless me bless my soul bless me say a prayer for me y'all because i but yeah taking my side i was like maybe some fresh air will do him good uh... it's the
debatable, as you can see. Why do you have hit? Now you want to act like you love me. I mean, I really appreciate this hug. And it's making me feel really warm inside. But you're so full of crap. Okay, so I told you guys earlier that I filmed my sponsorship. Well, it turns out when I went to edit it, I didn't like it at all. So I had to refilm it. And I just finished that. Hopefully I like that one. This one took me a little bit longer because I did like a whole montage. I act like it was Sunday. The whole time is Thursday. Um, but here we are. We're in a day in the life, okay? But yeah, I filmed the content. Harper's sitting here talking all this trash about me she's talking about she's throwing tomatoes at me and i'm talking about the camera that i can't sing she said she's gonna call SZA and tell SZA that i was singing her song no i'm saying you didn't get a fan of her and i wasn't no that's not what I you were gonna say gonna tell you, that's not what you no, were gonna I, say i wasn't talking trash i was talking trash yeah. about your camera mm -hmm. sony sony is a terrible it says sony sony <laughs> i'm a pony girl I'm a pony girl. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go to bed. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. We're up. Harper woke up. Enzo woke up. They woke me up at like 6.30. They're an hour too early. Now, I gotta come up with a whole new schedule. But, whatever. We're gonna enjoy our Friday. Because... Harper's gonna be hungry at school because she woke up too early. Enzo has to eat breakfast anyways. And now here I am making breakfast for sun come up. The sun's not up. If there's one thing I don't like is being up before the sun is up. But it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Come on, come downstairs. Yeah, make eat breakfast. Gonna make the kids some breakfast. I bet. Make the kids some breakfast. Take our to school. And pivot on a whole new schedule for Enzo today. Yeah. Our package from Lego came. Let's open that. However, you guys are on the Lego box. So. This should be interesting, right? Ow. The first color that we got is blue. And the style that I was looking for are these ones with the drawer. That way she can store stuff, you know, so I don't have to see things. So these are, literally, it's a huge ASS Lego. Love it. So cute. It's so shiny. It's nice, high quality. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but these drawers are huge. I don't know why I didn't think the drawers were going to be this big. I think people use these to store their Legos. But we're going to use it as a nightstand. And then this one I got in the fuchsia. I didn't know it was the shade of pink. I think this one is a different style because I think this is all they had. This one you give it a shake. And the lid comes off. And you put store stuff in the bottom. Um, so, I mean, it's cute. These are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Are they going to fit in that space? I should have probably measured, huh? I probably should have, guys. I should have had. Okay. We've relocated to the kids' room. Harper throws all her pillows on the floor. She made me order her these eye masks, right? First of all, she keeps saying so tight they're addressable. She was like, I want eye masks. I get scared. Yada, yada, yada. I be hearing stuff. The teddy bears, eyeballs be moving. Buy her the eye masks. Talking about they're too tight. Harper, they adjust, babes. <laughs> They're adjustable. And I might have to have a talk for her when she get home and be like, they're adjustable, Harp. So I had to move the bed a little. Um, this is what they look like right here. So I definitely need a third one because the third one will bring it to like here. Here. Right here-ish. So I'm definitely going to order a third one. Maybe I'll do like a white one as the base layer or white in between. I do, however, want the blue one on the top so that she could utilize the drawers. Um... And then we'll just use the pink one for like storage or something. But I think it's a cute way to just bring in some color over there. Because you guys know that right now the room is super bland. Because like, I don't know when the hell I'm going to get around to this. I just don't feel like it, quite honestly. And I'm going to have to like order it to Walgreens and stuff. Um, and get them pregnant. But anyways. So yeah, definitely need a third one so that it's taller and like more visible. 
So should I do a white one in between or another color? I guess I have to see what they have. They cost like $45, $46, some are $43, depends on the style. But I definitely do prefer the one with the drawers because I just think they're more functional, like because she could use them. And even though she could use the bottom one, it's going to be one of those things of like, I guess the pink one will have to go on the top, right? That way she could easily put a top off and she could still utilize the drawers. I don't know. And then I'm going to try to find like a piece of um glass or like um acrylic to go on the top to like create a flush surface. But I think it would be a cute place for her to be able to, you know, like put her phone. Because right now it's just been like on the floor and stuff. So that way she has a spot. And apparently like cups can sit on here and stuff. Not that she's allowed to have cups up here, but... I think it's cute. I also was thinking that this is really cute to uh, put under the bed. Not that I'm going to buy enough of them to go under the bed, but if you're a parent and you're like me, you hate seeing under the bed, I definitely think those are cute, like if you want to bring some color in. So now you decide to come upstairs. Enzo was downstairs the whole time. Sometimes he follows me, sometimes he minds his business. Look at him. What are you doing? What was you doing by yourself? You was watching Miss Rachel? Mommy got to edit. I got to edit a sponsorship. Let's not dance on the steps, okay? That's scary. Come on. Hey, it's a little football. It's mommy's football. Ooh, you got the heavy. It's dirty. Y'all. Happy kids is so rough. I had just literally filmed for like 10 minutes just chatting to you guys about so much stuff. And Enzo just walked up to me with the Nintendo Switch remote and threw it at the camera so the camera turned off and wasn't able to restore the video file that I just was filming. I tried to get my parents together. I was looking very disheveled. I'm so not the smartest person I've ever met in my life. Should I? I'm gonna just put it in my bra for right now so that I don't lose it and Enzo can't find it and potentially eat it and we end up in the hospital. But I just tried to get myself together because I was just looking crazy and I just was like, I'm going out sad. <laughs> I said I'm going out sad. This is not like you, girlfriend. You need to get it together. I started regretting my natural idea of not going out today. I was like, damn, I probably should have went and did something. Um, but again, there was nothing to do. But I probably should have left the house. Next week, I'm going to go out. I'm a boba. It's a boba. <laughs> it's a boba. <laughs> Enzo has a dinner. He's over there. I just cleaned up the room. Um, and we're just gonna hang out for a little bit until it's Enzo's bedtime and then he's going to sleep. And quite honestly, the way that I'm feeling, I might have to go make me a Henny Mark. It's not a part of my diet, but don't beat yourself, beat yourself. So I'm definitely gonna make myself a drink. I haven't had a drink in like a month, so I definitely might be smizzed in the bed and i just gonna wait for her to get home because i miss my little boo so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here and edit it for you guys i love you guys thank you guys so much for being patient for me because like, yeah, i know i haven't been around i know i don't even have nothing to post in the thumbnail i don't have no photos